SpaceX brought back the remains of Starship 31, and here's the story of how it was done. A quick disclaimer, do not attempt any of the actions you see in this video without proper permits and written approval from any involved parties. All it takes is one person to ruin media operations for every organisation in this community. On November the 19th, 2024, SpaceX launched the sixth flight of the Starship Integrated Test Program. Following an eventful ascent, an aborted booster landing, and a successful engine relight on orbit, the last objective for Starship 31 was to re-enter the atmosphere and land in the Indian Ocean. The landing location off the northwest coast of Australia has seen the landings of Starship 29 on Flight 4 and Starship 30 on Flight 5 respectively. With that, we have been tracking marine assets in the area. Offshore support vessel Limitless was present at both Flight 4 and Flight 5's landings. You can see distinct patterns in the route of the vessel as it lays buoys out to track where the Starship upstage lands. Once we noticed this pattern, we began investigating. This moment marked the birth of what we now call Project Fallen Star. On October the 25th, we surveyed the port of Exmouth, Australia with a drone. Exmouth is where the docks for the operator of Limitless, Offshore Unlimited, reside. Here we can directly observe what to plan for when Flight 6 comes around. We can see this large yellow derrick that was installed on the back of the craft, previously not present. We also spotted these containers for storage of buoys. Every previous time Limitless left port, it always stopped at these containers to load and unload the buoys used during Starship's landing observation. With these observations, we could form a plan of what to look for before and after Flight 6. On November the 17th, a new vessel came to light. The vessel Bargwan Renegade, operated by Bargwan Marine, was spotted heading to the same location as Limitless was, en route to the landing zone. Renegade is an offshore tug with the capability for debris recovery in the context of Starship. With all marine assets in place, on November the 19th, Starship 31 landed. Following splashdown, the vehicle tipped over and the payload bay was destroyed, splitting the vehicle into two main sections. From here, the two vessels followed the floating debris roughly 83 kilometers away from the landing site, picking debris off the remains of the ship before the vehicle finally sank 27 hours after landing. As the two vessels returned, it was the expectation that Limitless would be carrying the buoys based on activity in past flights and that Renegade would tow the entire Starship vehicle if it was still intact. Evidently, the vehicle broke up on splashdown, making this impossible. On November the 23rd, the Limitless returned to Exmouth. Multiple crates and bags of debris were being offloaded from the vessel using a telehandler and being placed onto waiting flatbed trucks. Some of the largest pieces of debris recovered are the composite overwrap pressure vessels, or COPV tanks, used to store helium on the Starship spacecraft. These tanks were lifted and loaded into these long crates. Each of these crates can hold up to four COPV tanks. You will notice the four tanks still on the vessel when filming began, and a crate of them already loaded onto a flatbed truck. With the four tanks we already see, and the crate already loaded with them, we can see that they recovered roughly eight COPV tanks. Among the containers, there are these white bags containing smaller objects. One of the bags was open, revealing it to contain hundreds of heat shield tiles from the ship. Here, you can even see a worker picking up a chunk of tiles that are still bound together with glue.
tiles like these would be found on the static error covers of the flaps. Additionally, you can see the core sections of the buoys without the inflatable raft part. Each buoy is made up of two of these cores each, one with the propulsion and antennas, and the second set with cameras and computers. In this shot from Flight 6, you can see the orange inflatable part of the buoy along with the starling dish. We can also see these six large steel containers being offloaded. These are called steel IBC tanks and can store a whole range of liquids. We believe that these were carrying extra diesel fuel for Limitless, however it is possible that they are carrying other hazardous materials. Equipment for plasma cutters are visible on deck including a gas hose here. The acetylene tanks are shielded from view. There are also several other containers and bags that were offloaded that are not able to be identified because they are already sealed. Hopefully within a month or two, these containers will show up at Starbase. Checking in on the Renegade, on November the 24th it returned to the Beden port of Onslow, Australia. With the ship having evidently not survived intact, this vessel served no primary purpose and returned with nothing. However, it gives us a valuable insight into how recovery operations will occur in the case that the next ship does come back intact. On the vessel itself, a large noticeable feature is this cylindrical flotation device called a fender. This device, in the case that the ship was towed back to shore intact, would be rigged up to the aft section of the ship to provide buoyancy for it. The front of the Starship vehicle would be rigged up to Renegade itself, as shown here. The port itself has been completely cleared out and there is a large mobile crane awaiting on the berth, in case Starship 31 did actually make it back fully intact. A barge is located nearby, in the creek behind the port, which has a length of over 60 metres long. In the event that Starship came back intact, this crane would lift the Starship vehicle out of the water and place it on this barge, from which it may be subsequently shipped all the way back to Starbase. with that, thank you for all the support that enables us to do more wacky investigations like this. If you like this video, check out our previous investigation on the HOS Ridgewind recovering Booster 11's debris from the Gulf of Mexico, or take a look at our Starship Flight 6 launch cinematic. See you next time!